Hello and welcome to another Perfect Reject video. Today we will be doing episode 4 of White Island, A Flower Unto Death. And if you're ready, here we go. As usual, I will be skipping all of the text. You hand over and then the next one you choose defend. Okay, so now you head upwards towards the lighthouse. There are two new locations revealed to you. However, uh, the, the basement, the government's basement, is actually not uh, specific to any um, puzzles or solutions. So I'll skip that. So you enter in the warehouse. You select the scissors. Use it on the gate. And you can access it. You take two things. The gas can and the gloves. So you will realize that the lighthouse door is locked. And now you head backwards all the way to the number of houses. You go into this house, 1-1. One, one. Select the butane gas can and put it under the pipe. You give it a moment and the key will drop. Pick up the key, select the door, Use the key on the door and you can access it. Here you want to take two things. First one, you click on the code and you get a key. The second one is a wooden chopstick from the wooden cardboard, uh, cupboard. As you move out, you will drop the 10 cent coin. At this moment, I do not know if it is uh, specific to anything or not. But, you know, I just, you just go in and pick it up. So now, with the key in hand, you can head back, all the way back to the lighthouse. Over here, you select the key, click on the door, and you will be able to access it. Okay, over here, you pick up the chair, combine the baseboard, with the chair and then select the gloves and select this part here and you'll be able to fix the wire. Now select the wooden chopstick which you've got from the house earlier which I totally messed up the order. I actually forgot what I'm supposed to do now. What? What? Ah, I was supposed to get the light bulb. The wooden chopsticks is for the radio later on. So you move all the way to the construction site. So over here, select into the crane, activate the crane and you will be able to get the light bulb to drop. This is where the chair comes in handy. Select the chair, select the light. Okay, so. There's two things you click on. First one is the letter. The second one is actually you pick up the gun. Or if not, you will have to travel back here the whole way to pick it up. 
because when you go back to the lighthouse, to talk to her, communicate through her again. Ah, uh, I'm messing up the order. You click on the lighting equipment, put it on. Now here, this is where you click the wooden chopstick. Select on top and it should work. So now you'll select communicate and talk to her. And now you have to rush all the way back to get the gun, but dun -dun, we have the gun right here. A bit of narration. So here you pick up the lampshade. You move outwards. Go back to where the school is. Go in the school, go in this room, and you select the chair with wheels and carry the two-way radio. So here, rush all the way back to the lighthouse. A lot of traveling these two episodes, this one especially. You select the two-way radio and put it on the top of the little platform. And now you go and take the battery. The battery is located in the secret cave. Wait, is it? You need to get your girlfriend to go with you. Yes, and we can make it in. You pick up the map. Which is actually useless is you if you don't have the travel tickets. And here is the long winded travel instructions. You go in to the corpses, the, the room with dead bodies. Over here, you use the hammer, hit on the battery, the little corner there. So now you have the battery. And now you go back all the way, all the way to the lighthouse. And remember, whenever you press outwards in the in the automatic door, remember to select the postcards. If not, you have to waste more time. Listen to that goddamned uh, narration. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Go through, go past the lighthouse. And over here, you select the battery and put it here. And now you travel back because the battery is dead. Why am I speaking like this? Because I am clearly irritated. Whew. Okay, so we travel here. You select the battery, put it onto the cultivator, select the lever, put it Slightly in front of the cultivator, press three times and it will start up. Vroom. Now you take the battery and go back all the way to the lighthouse. Go in, select the battery, put it here, 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 yes. And you use act on the... Mm -hmm. Wait. What happened to my battery? Oh. Uh, one more thing you have to do is to select the lampshade, put it on the top. Mm. Okay, so over here, this is something I missed out before. Um, I mean, since I was rushing a bit, but what you want to do is you, as you are carrying the chair, the 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 
radio, you use the cloth. Come on, come on, come on. You use the cloth and put it on the chair with wheels so that you will receive a little, a slightly different narration where basically the guy asks you for, for a passcode or code and you couldn't answer and so basically they hang up. So, so well, you're not getting help either way. So this is actually the first time I got this because most of my playthrough I remember to put a waterproof cloth. But either way, you travel, travel, travel back to where you found a fisherman. You come over here, you realize you need fuel. So you go back out, go to where the clinic was. And once you go back to the clinic, you will realize that this thing is actually oil stains. So to get to the fuel, we now have to travel the very unnecessarily long cave again. You go back to where the dead bodies were. So over here, you click the battery, put it in, then you select the chair with wheels on the small generator. You go out towards where the the little little garden was. Okay, so over here you select the small generator, put it on there, give it a moment, it will recharge, pick it up, and go back into the room. Of course. Cops. Whatever. Select the spawn generator, put it on, the power, the, the computer power on, select, and just click act on the yellow part. Travel all the way out again. Remember to click the postcards. Or rather the K photo barcode, whatever you want to call it. Go out this side here. You will see this little compartment. Take the floppy disk. Go back into the cave. All the way. All the way. Click, click, click. Maybe I should, like, you know, make this, make traveling faster. Select, put it in, select it again. And you will be able to click the hospital. You click the hospital, you travel out. For the last time, fortunately. Select the barcode, click on the door, and you are out. So inside here, you click the little lever, click on it to remove the cap, select the fuel container and pump, select the, the fuel, fuel pipe, and you will gain a couple, a uh, half a gallon of, half a container of fuel. Go to where the boat is, select the barrel, fill it up. You realize that the lighthouse is, uh, the light of the lighthouse is off. But before you go, take a look around here. If I'm not wrong, the ALB21 injection will be here, right, right about here. It's a bit hard to see. And after that, we zoom zoom into the lighthouse. Over here, 
you may want to save before getting in because if you spend too long on the first option or the second one, one of the options if you take too long, you will actually reach a bad end and you have to restart the whole thing again. And I can see right now it took me 15 minutes to get to this point. You, you have to communicate with him first. So here, the correct options you want to choose for the first one. Okay, this one you press alert. And so after that, you select glove and give it to J. Now this one here, you want to select safety. And then after that, you want to select stop him. Okay, and now you run. Run, 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 run. You select the reinforced board, literally throw it out of the cliff because you don't actually get it in your inventory. You go down. I do not know how you can actually travel so much while carrying your girlfriend there. I definitely can't. So you put her on. And then you get a moment of realization, enlightenment that everything she said before was actually slightly weird. But this is just ending narration. And so you question yourself, are you doing the right thing? But now it's time for another arc. And this ends the whole walkthrough for episode 4. If you need uh, some help or if something's not clear, I know I did make some um, sequence error in speaking this time, do comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll see you in the next Perfect Reject video.